I'm gonna start recording now. No, you're not. Yes, I started already recording. You're not. I'm recording already, you kid. Oh, no, you're not. Yes, I am. What does that mean? They have even posted more matches. They have like two, one o'clock, like hour time. What the fuck are they doing? They're making the admins work really hard. For all this time. Yeah. Well, to be honest, that's good because we are paying. That's true. We are paying for a quality service. Quality service. Yes. Yeah, You're not exactly paying for quality, are you? No, well, that is true, though. Paying for something that we're getting free before. Yeah, exactly. We're paying for a basic service on a website that. That should be as a default. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like the CMRS, I don't know. Like, if that was the first thing that came out on GB, like CMRS, then it makes sense. The fact that it came after, like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's pretty shitty. Are they downgraded their judgment system? By the way, um, guess who? Guess who's sleeping? <laughs> oh, let me guess. Uh, Impu. Yes. Oh, and that, that then the other dude. Yes, they're sleeping again. Impu was asking me to play doubles earlier, and I was like, "No, I'm in a doubles with exertion." He was like. I want to play some team. I was like, I felt really awkward. Who asked? And who he asked me to team, like if I want to play some team games. I was like, shall I reply? And then I was like, fuck it, I won't. <laughs> but now he's probably feeling like really rejected. I feel bad. It's the first time in two weeks he's coming on. It's actually the first time I actually feel bad about doing something like cuntish. In my life. Oh no. Sleep <laughs> Grizzlies three. What? It's Vine. It's not Grizzly, it's Grisel. 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 Sure, I wasn't following the fan, Kesraid. Shit, man. Kesraid, you need to follow me, I followed you. Oh, sorry, my bad, I'm gonna do it directly. <laughs> he followed me before he followed you, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> your mum gets followed by everyone. <laughs> She does. She's a popular woman. Oh, we know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh, man. That would be. <laughs> Why can't I find you? You're what's your Twitter? Oh, he's he's an unknown. He's a no name. Uh, Joe Charisma. Oh yeah, there it is. I mean, from the ticket from the teams. There it is. There we go. I said it before. <laughs> How can you hear when you're sleeping? What the fuck? Gif got first rounded. Gif kid. Here is. End of an era. Hi. Well, who what was he playing? Well, I mean, I told, I told, I told you all that they are gonna get first rounded because they're playing with Endura. Oh yeah. yeah. Did you play uh, anyone good, or did you play no namers? No namers. No namers. Serious. Yes. Anyone that I might know? No. Yeah, well, I told you. Without, without us, it just crumbles. <laughs> no. Need us? Uh, we're like, we're like. I don't know what we're like. We are the drawbridge. No, do you know what we are? Without us. It's like, it's like, okay, it's like, 
we're we're the car. Uh, like we're a, this team is a car, and basically we're like the engine, and <laughs> anything important. And they're like the wing mirrors. <laughs> yeah, they're like the wing mirrors in the fucking <laughs> the interior, like the seats and shit. Oh, what well, like the DX races? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we actually like move the car, and they just like stay in in the car. There it is. I mean, whenever, whenever someone decides to play with a tournament with Enduro, it doesn't matter how good you are, you're going to end up losing. It's not that bad, Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> like, he's not, like, the best player in our, but I wouldn't say he's, like, bad. But, but uh, who was else with the Gifts team? Uh, Vape and someone. Not Andy. This is not painful now. <sighs> what I, I mean, I guess in this game, I did enjoy because I found uh, I found uh, Jekka's Twitter. I did enjoy his pin tweet. That was that's honestly the truth. What was it? Let me read it out for you. Can what the hell was his Twitter? Jack TGR, whatever his name. No, 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 no. Wait, that's Munster, his GB, I think. Munster's playing that premium tournament and they're at the fourth round. <laughs> oh, they're playing with fucking Fabio Zylo. There we go. <clears throat> I used to sit in spawn eating my dinner beating these kids who are winning tournaments now. They're playing. That is the truth. You read that out, yeah, whilst breathing. That would have sounded much better. That was mine. Out. That was me breathing. I mean, if he, he if he didn't read it out all in one go really quick, he could have actually have like, it would have been quite funny. Uh. But you went, oh, you know, oh, oh, oh. Uh, that sums up the idealism in esports that there can't be new blood, new players. Everyone... Oh, this 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 is the thing that if they still played these. It's nowadays would be nothing. Yeah, but that's, Honestly. that's uh, there is no new blood uh, if there is old legends. There is no new blood. Uh, listen, it's so uh, what, he, what? Yeah, what you saying is? Go on, Peter, Sorry, go on. The, f the fact that they kept playing is the point. Like it's like in football. Oh yeah, this sixteen-year-old's the best player in the world right now. But when he's twenty-six, he's not going to be. He's he's gone and gone and turned into. This a isn't bait. football, sir. It is. It's a, it's a sport. It's like anything. It's like chess. Like if you don't play it, yeah, you're not going to be very good at it. If you play it every day and you're like you, you're talented before, yeah, you're going to be really good. As soon as you stop playing, you're not committing yourself to playing. So other people are going to take your spot. So what he's just said is like he just can't accept that newer players will overtake him if he doesn't put the effort in. Like, but they wouldn't have overtaken him like ever. It's like saying fucking a baker wouldn't have made a muffin if he didn't stop making muffins. Well, Theo, just check out who favorited that tweet and then back to me, sir. You do agree on him in a certain way, definitely. No, I'm just saying it's the esports idealism of, of new talent is not an accepted thing. Like, you can't the thing is, though, if we had yeah, if we had people like Rip still playing it all day, like there wouldn't be any new blood. They would still be in the bottom of the fucking ladder, bottom of the food chain. I disagree. Some people work harder than others. Yeah. Yeah. Some people it's... grind for the camels. Yeah. Uh, like yeah, and I guess who grinds for the camels? That's right. That's what I mean. Like it's like saying this, right? So Kessie's got dark matter, yeah. And all these kids right now, they don't have dark matter. But in six months' time, Kessie's going to have dark matter, but so is everyone else. Yeah. They're, they've caught up. Yeah. yeah, but it would have taken six months of... Like, I know, but I'm ju it's just like a metaphor. But yeah. what, what I'm saying is, is, say Kessie stopped playing, and then like, like a new you're... camo comes out that he yeah. doesn't grind for, and everyone else just overtakes him and gets that camo. It, it just shows, like... It's it's all about commitment, really. Like new bloods, new players that weren't good before have just grinded it and turned sick. Like I don't know. P people in esports can't accept new talent. Hey, they can yeah. be they can they can be good, but 
But honestly, if if the old blood was still playing, like on the regular, they would still be in the bottom of the food chain. I don't know about that. To be honest. Yeah, it's it's a different. Every game's different. different. People are people are better at different games. Killer, pick up mod the black ops team, average at the rest. He's obviously not given up, and he's still playing, but he's just not that good. It's a different landscape, Scorps. People grind harder than ever before. People grind literally for their lives. If it's fresh for you, it's like as you like, it's like a honeymoon period, isn't it? So they're, they're like, it's like the brand new game. They're like, oh my god, Call of Duty. They play it. They really try. Whereas someone that's been playing Call of Duty for four or five years might take it quite easy, and they're like, oh, I know how to play this game, and yeah. they weren't obviously not on the grind as much as other people. It's, obviously, it's not nice when people come along and just fucking wreck, and you don't know who they are. Well, they have vision pulse and cod. Oh, the worldly. Yeah, that yeah. shit's fucking. You have everything except care packages and that launcher. Oh yeah, that's true. UAV. We're <laughs> checking everything. Oh my. By the way, in um in twenty minutes, we'll find out if they're just giving teams the. I just personally are. only. I have that idealism that. I, like I don't know if it's unfortunate or not, but I, I have still. It as well. Everyone has it. That's why I, mean. I still I only have to point out because it's not actually a tr like if you look at any other sport, all sports are open to like youthful people coming through and doing well, but in our in esports, no one is. Well, in e in Europe anyway, like no one wants new talent. They want to see the good players do well and the bad players do badly. Like. I think it's good. Like, but like you, you recognize the advanced warfare because it was such a different game. They can, they can really, really advanced like warfare. Like, let's get this straight. Whatever happened in advanced warfare is the most irrelevant thing ever. There is nothing relevant about that game. Absolutely anything you achieved on that game is totally irrelevant. How so? I think, I think COD Champs is the only, only yes. thing that everyone kind of played for because yeah. it was a Unlike, new game and everyone was used. To yeah. Like, not used to it. But like, e even in smaller scenes like GB tournaments and stuff, like, it's completely irrelevant what happened in that game. That Different. wasn't even a COD game. It wasn't a COD game. It was made by a developer that never made COD before. Yeah, and you could see it. They, su they supported me. They made um, Modern Warfare 3. They helped them make. No, no, no. They made Modern Warfare 3 single player. Oh, yeah, that's true. Just that. Yeah, Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. Yeah. yeah. And that sucked as well. It didn't have any influence on multiplayer whatsoever. Yeah, that's true, that's What's true. that? The people that made Advanced Warfare? Yeah. Yeah. That game was A's. Like, honestly, for a COD game, that was really out there. Like, Advanced Warfare? Probably, yeah, that was like one they of had, they had the to only change. COD games that has been so different compared to that. They had to like spice it up because like, they thought that it was the COD games were, were getting stale because of the like how it plays but really what they're missing is they're missing the fundamental basics of normal cod if they emulated anything like cod 4 or mod 2 and then emulated the map designs they would have the perfect cod and um, simplified it if they simplified it they don't understand that simplifying it will make it better for everyone yeah, they, they think that oh, for a, from a viewer's perspective it's important <coughs> yeah. but it's not that's not true yeah like, but like they haven't like they always like more uh, Going through like towards public games, like not competitive. Now it's like thriving against like or, or towards uh, like competitive scene. Yeah. So hopefully, like the next. They bring out uh, Ghost e Two. Yeah. Like hopefully the next Ghost Two, they uh, I finally understand that they need to go back to like the old. That, that's not a bad idea, you know. They release like a public version of the game, and then they release like a competitive side yeah. of the game. Or well, they could just have like a game that's dedicated to esports, like COD. You know what the thing honestly is like, has anyone ever thought about this, that the games that public players love the most are the games that also competitive players love the most? Like honestly. That's what, that's what I mean, like, pub players like watching like a stripped down version of the game. Like, when it's more competitive, it's more enjoyable to watch. When there's loads of fucking shit in the game, it's not fun to watch. Like, the only time it's fun to watch is if you get, like, a three-piece with a war machine or something. Yeah. And that even that isn't very, like, amazing. No. It's just spamming the trigger, so that's, like, I don't really know. Yeah. And then more of a skill, you just have to, like, get People the also loved playing the, the games that were also almost fun and competitive. 
Yeah. Public players, that is. Yeah, yeah that's true. Like 50% of all pub players play TDM and play like an hour every couple of days or whatever. Yeah. So they don't give a fuck really, but when they, if they're not very good, but they have some knowledge of the game, if they watch eSports, they'll love it. Like They can sit there and watch it all day, and that's how they get into it. Like, yeah. I recorded yeah. the notion.